What is going on, everybody? I've been having a lot of questions on some of my to try to help you guys out with building a new YouTube channel. And let me tell you, there, there's no secrets out there. Everybody has secrets because they see all these guys with like millions of views and subscribers. A lot of time to do their videos and put everything they had into getting up there. And it doesn't just happen overnight. I'll just be honest with you, unless you catch some kind of rare footage. So what I want to do is help you guys that are building brand new YouTube channels. And it could either be going from zero subscribers you could have. You could have 100, 200. Everybody wants to hit that plateau to become monetized. So what I'm going to do is just show you some small things where I've helped others out build their cells to get over to 1,000. And they start taking off time, guys. Don't get frustrated onto it. Stick with it. Provide good content for your viewers, and it'll happen. It really will. But it may not. It may take you two, three years. It could take you two, three months. Just don't get frustrated with it. So I'm going to look at this as going from zero subscribers right now. And to be honest with you, everybody asks, what's the secrets? Why do all these YouTube videos that I'm making not help me? Well, it could deal with content. It could deal with how you're going about trying to push it. Don't waste your money. And I'll go more into that. So let's take a look here. Let me get this flipped. All right. After building your YouTube channel, what I found out is social media. It's huge. Huge. You want social media. And it's free. So you got Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, I'm trying to think. What's the other one? Uh, Snapchat, I guess some people use. I'm not too sure how that works. So just don't try just using YouTube to promote YouTube. Go outside. Get the exposure. Make a YouTube page. I'm not talking personal page. Make a business page. It'll help. Um, if you need help doing it, just hit me in the comments. I'll try to help you guys out the best I can. Reddit is kind of funny um, because you have to get approvals to post stuff. But with Reddit, you need to get involved in conversations into your niche and everything. And before they're going to start really looking at this stuff. You just can't go in there and blast videos everywhere. Facebook, I'm going to show you guys some groups you can use, and it's basically for do's and don'ts. I'll, I'll go more into that there. Instagram's another great way to get a follow and start looking at your videos when you post. Twitter, I mean, look at Mr. Beast. He uses Twitter all the time, and people just, millions and millions, where we all want to be at. All right, don't limit yourself trying to figure out the algorithm of YouTube. I'm telling you, change is constant. And unless you're a computer smart algorithm dude or do that, you're not going to get it. Some of the basics you need to follow. Short video titles, good thumbnails, look at your links that you're using. Your um, uh, Put your video in a video description. Use an end screen button. It has a subscribe button on to it. Just look through all the little things that YouTube's giving you to do. Then also make sure your tags are good. I know everybody talks about YouTube, buddy, and all that stuff. It's a good tool to use. It's not going to push you to that thing, but it'll start ha having your uh, brain thinking like, okay, let me start looking, seeing where you rank and all this. Use it, but at the same time, don't overuse it thinking it's going to be perfect in every way. All right. Join Facebook groups for YouTubers like yourself. Okay. There's three of them, and I'll put the links in the description below. So that way you guys could go on there, and by no means is this going to like push you way over there. Get exposure with other YouTubers. You're going to see what they're doing. You're able to like critique yourself versus you versus them type deal, and it'll help you out. Some of these YouTube groups they let you go live. Go live. Engage with your audience. People like it when you go live because they get to have that feeling with that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and everything. But try to schedule it. Say, hey, every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern or whatever, I'm going live for how long. And go on there, talk to your audience, see what's going on. I mean, everybody has their own uh, niche that they're doing on YouTube. But I'm telling you, if you go live, you're going to start pulling views in. People are going to start watching you more. And they're like, oh, i got to tune in on uh, Friday nights because, you know, Extreme's on. He's doing live breaks, whatever it may be. Mine with baseball cards with this channel here is a little bit harder because it's not out there where millions and millions and millions of people are going to watch the stuff. So I'm trying to combine stuff and move everything into one page. You guys will see here later on that. But 
go live. So the first one here is right here. The groups down at the bottom. YouTube, promote your videos and channels. Read the rules and stuff onto it. You'll see some people go live. Ask questions. If you want to know how to edit your videos, what programs are going well for you. Um, these a lot of people want to sub, for, sub. Don't get into that stuff. Use it with the people that are on there. If they like your videos, they're going to sub to you. Don't get the fake sub. Stuff is worthless, I'm telling you. They get frustrated, they drop, they quit their channel, you lose subscribers. Get the people that's going to be there for you. Okay, here's the next one right here. It's just flat out YouTube videos. The public group. Again, links down here, so you guys can see. And I'll post this stuff into the uh, description below this video, so you guys can go on there. It, like I said, this is basically you interact with other new YouTubers, you gain ideas, you get questions answered, you build rapport with other people. Maybe there's a guy down the road from you or in the next city, and you guys are both at like 800 subscribers, but every time that you post, you know you're getting five to 600 views. Do a video together. It'll help you guys out. Come together onto it. Use each other to build with. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Already here. Let's go. This is the other group that I go into. I don't really go into it that much anymore, but it gave me a lot of ideas. This is YouTube channel and video promotion. This is a closed group, so you have to get accepted to it. And like I said, YouTube, YouTube or TubeBuddy, I'm sorry, is a good tool, but don't rely on it completely to get you ranked. Uh, use it to assist you with better ideas how to tag and even label your videos. It's a tool. It's not there to get you in a number one spot, but it's a tool to use to start seeing how you want to do your videos. So I'm giving you guys three groups for Facebook to get into. You guys can look at the stuff. They're across the whole world. Uh, you'll see where they just go live and just sit there and talk. Talk to them. Schedule a time, go in there and let people talk. Look at their videos. Critique them. I mean, say, hey, wow, man, this is really good. I didn't know that you could do this, this, or this. What are you using to stream with? Are you using XSplit or are you using, was it OBS, uh, Manicam, whatever it may be. Find out what they're using. See if it works better for you. It's to share ideas, build the community, grow your channel. All right, guys, I'm going to just give you a couple more tidbits here of what I tell a lot of people. Now, my videos are different. If I'm out there trying to get to the population, I just want you to know I keep it short and sweet. But when I do my longer breaks, you see, like for an hour, three hours long, that's because it's a product I'm opening live for people. So these rules don't really apply. Different, different thing that I do with it. So everybody wants to make sure they're monetized. That's the key. Everybody wants to start making that money. And I'm going to tell you now, CPMs are rough. So I'm going to give you some stuff that I found out. You want to put, once you get monetization, okay, you want to put ads in your video. I'd go with two, no more than three. So my opinion is videos should be about 10 minutes long. And depending on the video, 10 minutes is about the key on to it for a regular channel, just posting whatever you're doing. The shorter the video, you don't want to have like a two-minute video with two or three ads into it, okay? That's going to kill your audience. Don't do it. All right. So, 10 minutes, I would say 7 10 minute videos with about 2 ads is pretty good. I wouldn't go more than 3 on to it. You don't want an ad every 5 minutes because it's, it's going to bore people. It's going to frustrate them. Um, but put it on there for pop-up and a regular, you know, they stop your video, play the ad type deal. Um, let's see here. If you do post short videos, make sure you capture what you wanted to begin with. So, in short videos... You know, hey, have an index card in front of you or something that you're looking at so you can capture everything you want to do. There's nothing wrong with a short video. If you can get your whole message captured out there to everybody, that's great. You know, I would, like I said, 10 minutes probably tops on to it. Don't flood your video multiple times a day by posting links on the same page. So, I'm not going to go into these Facebook groups, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, and just keep posting my video... 10 times a day or two or three once is enough once is enough if it gains traffic it's good so look at it that way look at other things uh pinterest i put it on i'm trying to think of some of the other ones it, it's just not done on me but there's a, so many different ways you can put your stuff out there look into it you guys will succeed trust me all right big big one don't waste money by advertising it with paid services don't buy ads on YouTube. You're spending money before you're making it. That don't make sense. That's how people go into debt in the real world. You know, you get a credit card, you spend it, then you don't have the money. 
don't go on these services. It's going to say, we'll get you views, we'll get you subs, you know, 30 subs for a dollar or whatever it is. I'm telling you, they outsource this stuff all over the world. And YouTube catches it and they cut it every so often. It can be three, four times a year. So you could be sitting at 1,500 subs. Next thing you know, you're at 300. And you're losing monetization because you can't quickly get that back. Don't do it. And don't Even if they say it's American uh, views, all that stuff, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm telling you, I've seen it. It's just, I know it's great to try to get 10,000 quick views onto something, but they're coming from the wrong way. They're using multiple, uh, same IPs, all that stuff. YouTube tracks it because your video could have like 5,000 off them, and then two months later, you're sitting at 300 views. You're like, what happened? It's because they're, they're changing that algorithm, how they're looking, how your stuff's being viewed, what countries, everything. If you're from the United States, it's because that's where I'm from. I want my views to come from the United States because my CPM is going to be higher. And I'll try to go into that into another video because that's just crazy CPM stuff. And it's just stuff that I've learned over time. So everybody, I really hope this video helped out. I'm like a little bit over the 11 minute mark right now. But if you were just starting out your YouTube channel, this is the stuff you want to look at doing. Get some experience off to it. I mean, if you're going out there and you're seeing, trying to look at videos guys have millions and millions of views on, they're already successful. Look at the smaller people. What are they doing right now to get to that next level? That's what you need to do. That stuff where they have millions of views and it was made a year ago, that stuff's out there with the algorithm. I'm telling you. Look at the guys that are in the, in the foxhole with you. I'm using some army lingo here. Your guy to your left and right, your buys are like neck and neck, 500 subs. What can you do better? Share with each other. Grow. You guys could use this video. If you want to post videos on it, go for it. Links to your channels. I have no problem with that on the channel. You guys can plaster the videos with comments because what do we need to do? We need to get likes on the videos. And by the way, don't forget to like my video. See, just like something simple like that there coming across, telling somebody, like my video because YouTube sees it. You want comments, whether they're good, bad, thumbs down, thumbs up, views, all that stuff. It all gets built into play. So don't get in that stuff where you view my video, I view yours, sub for sub. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. It never does. Half the people you sub with, or I'm going to say 90% of the people you sub with aren't going to sub you back. So don't do it. Again, if you guys got questions, hit in the video. I try to catch up every day or two on comments on the videos. Um... Again, good luck with your channel. I'll try to keep some more of this stuff educational for you guys coming out. And gals, too. I'm sorry, I'm used to saying guys because of the baseball card business. But if I can help you out in any way, please just let me know from what I've seen. My channel's not big, but I mind drives revenue outside of YouTube. And I've just been playing around with it for years, trying to figure out different things. And I'm going to probably start doing something more with YouTube here eventually. But again, thank you everybody for always watching the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel because you get notified when I'm live. You get to be notified when I have a new video. Maybe what we'll start doing on his channel, maybe on like once, twice a month, we'll go live so we can all chit chat about YouTube. That's an idea even for your channels, guys. All right. Thank you. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. Good luck on YouTube.